Peter always worked very hard. He had an operation with, oh, I don't know, 1940 or something like that. And um, they took all the, all his glands, you know, from there to there and, you know, all down his face. And he, he was a real mess and uh, I, I thought then, you know, he was given six months to live. <laughs> but he never had time to die. <laughs> he had to get this done, he had to get that done, he had to, you know, do this. So he lived till he was 86, kept, kept working. He was a keen, um, a very, very keen, got things done very quickly. That, that makes a difference. Some people take forever to do anything, and others, um, you know, just get through it very quickly. Before it started, Peter and I drove the car down, down the south road somewhere along there, and we got out and we walked over the paddock, and Peter was saying, this is where so-and-so will be, and this will be where something else will be. <laughs> you know, it was completely... Um, um, and uh, that, that's my first recollection of it. And, you know, all these people were coming and I, I said, well, I think, um, you know, there was a, the Adelaide, I'd been with the Adelaide Wives Club and they had a, a wives club and I thought, well, all these people don't know anyone. You know, a lot of them don't know anyone. Um, so we, I think the first meeting was at our house, I think. People, um, you know, living down at Glenelg and whatever, I think it was, that was the Anne Flinders thing. They didn't know a soul. It is very lonely for the women if you go to a new place, you know, and the, in those days the women didn't work as much. Some of them worked a bit, but um, not as much. And so they were just left, you know, floundering. 